Holy moly, we got a hefty one here this month, guys. Welcome to the Marvel Gear and Goods Loot Crate Unboxing for September of 2017. I don't remember what the theme is, but good, good lord. Look how fat and big this box is. I mean, look at look at it compared to what like, I'm bagging up, and it's still huge. It's a huge box. It's a huge box. What the hell are they going to be in here? There better be like a giant figurine or something in here. Shit is huge. Anyway, I'm excited because of how big it is, because I have no idea what to expect. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I see a lot of uh, Defenders related things. So maybe it's a Defenders box. Um, is there a wearable in here? It's buried if it is. I guess we'll get to the wearable later instead of starting off with it. Let's start with something small. <laughs> some, <laughs> some Electra. That's Electra. Electra. If you can't read that. They say Psy Paper Clips. Okay. Okay, I need to see these. I can't. I got. I can't. There's tape on both sides of this shit. Come on, man. You can't tease me with fucking psi-shaped paper clips. It's not. It's not happening. Yo, this this tape needs to. Oh my god, my nails. My nails are, don't exist right now. Or at least this tape is really, really flat. It don't have any. It doesn't have any give. I must see these size. Oh my god, now I'm too excited for some psi psi-shaped paper clips, dude. What a what a small item. There is some big stuff in here, and I grabbed the smallest thing first, other than the pin, which is this. There is a pin. I saw it. Um, I need to see these paper clips. Oh my god, there's tape on both sides. It's horrible. It's horrible. I just need to see one, dude. I just need to see one. Yes. How does it even work? I don't care. Actually, it go. Oh, okay. Anyway, here it is. This is a side shaped paper clip, and it clips. You clip it between. There's this flat piece right here. But yeah, the flat piece in the background. But it's just, it's a side, it's a paperclip. That's kind of fucking awesome. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. I never need paperclips ever, but these are really cool. I will probably do something with them. I don't know what. They are really cool, though. Holy crap. For something so small, I like it a lot. I don't know why. I'm giddy about some paperclips, dude. I'm giddy about some paperclips. All right, next thing I see here is a Daredevil cool... Cool to, I guess everything in here just has a cool artwork on one side of it. Because, like, that, that little box had a cool Electra picture on the side. This one has a cool Daredevil picture on the side. And uh, what it says on the back is it says Daredevil Desk Tray. What does that mean? I need to know. And, again, it has some fucking tape on it. Wait. Open it upside down. Why not? Who Who's going to stop it? All right. Daredevil desk tray. What does that even mean, dude? What does that even mean? What is am I looking at here? I'm looking at some kind of weird cathedral-shaped thing. I can't figure out. Wait, ow. Ow. How do you open this, bitch? Okay. Oh, yeah, there. Okay, I was going to say, why does that hurt? Okay. Daredevil. Shape. Daredevil. Desk tray? Desk tray. I guess this is the tray, and you sit Daredevil on top of it, which I'll show you the back of this this cathedral thing first. This is pretty cool. Um, um, it's got some stained glass things, which are really, really cool, actually. If you look at this, there's a king... Oh, oh, don't glare. Kingpin, Electra, and Bullseye, and then there's some other stuff here up the top. Um, I'm not sure who all those characters are, but anyway, it looks like it's a tray. You attach it like that, and booyah! Got a desk tray, Daredevil chilling up in the in the, the stained glass cathedral. Yo, Daredevil dude, he's chilling, he's chilling. Wow, another. What is this like? Is this, <laughs> this is like the desk of a Defenders fan? You got a desk tray, you got paper clips. What's next? What's next? I'm wondering what we got in here. Um, oh wait, I bet you I already know what this is. If it's gonna go on a desk. The size of this box, which has Daredevil and Luke Cage on it, uh, I think I know exactly what's in here. I can tell you exactly what's in here. Did it say on top? Oh yeah, I probably gave it away. And, oh, well, maybe not. Whatever. It's specifically, it's it's a mug. It's a mug. That, oh, nice. It says, Sweet Christmas. It's Luke Cage's. Um, it's got a yellow inside. Basically, it's a uh, it's Luke Cage themed because Luke Cage always says "Sweet Christmas." And yes, I have watched all the Marvel's Defenders on Netflix, and so I I know I know the I know the quotes. 
quote. I know the quote. So yeah, this is literally a defender's box. I think we've established that. We got Elektra, which is not she's not really a defender, but she is in the show. We got Daredevil, we got Luke Cage. Is there gonna be a Jessica Jones or a uh well, I think I'm I'm answering my own questions already. Because the next item I see is a full on notebook. Which if there wasn't plastic on it, I'd show closer up. Which, okay, I just dropped a piece of paper that fell out of there. It says Alias Investigations, which is actually the name of Jessica Jones. Uh, her, her, uh... Anyway, there's like a leather-bound case, and on the inside is a notebook. A, f a flat page notebook. No lines. And it has a picture of her walking down the street, kind of like in the show. Cool. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this book, or this, this crate so far. Very, very, uh, detailed things in here. Jessica Jones covered, Luke Cage covered, Daredevil covered. Where's the where's the Iron Fist stuff, dude? Where's the Iron Fist stuff, dude? Anyway, we're we're at the last item here, but other than the pin, and it's folders. Of course, it's folders. I can't tell who that is on the cover. Oh wait, that's a that's a face. Okay. Anyway, Defenders file folder set. Oh shit! Don't knock over my tray. Get this shit out of the way so I can show you. Um, you can kind of see the face over here on the side. Um, I'm not sure whose face that is. Is it Punisher? Could be. Huh. I'm not sure. I kind of want to open it up to see who all's on here. Because that's just one person's face. If it's a set, I'm assuming it's a bunch of people's faces from the Defenders. And Punisher is technically in the, uh, you know, he's in the Daredevil Season 2. So let's see what we got here. Oh, these are like legit folders. Okay, so we got what looks like Punisher. Who the heck? Okay, okay. Actually, this I think is Iron Fist. I think this is Iron Fist, I think. I think. It looks like Iron Fist. Probably. Yep, okay. I was going to say it might be Daredevil, but no, this is this one's Daredevil for sure. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. I hope the, the, the glare is actually helping you be able to see it. And then last but not least, we have, oh, Jessica Jones. Okay. Um, can you get a good glare of her? Can't even tell it's her, can you? Uh, that one's hard. That one's harder to see. Because that top part where the triangle is is her face, if you can kind of tell. So the black outline here is her hair. It's harder to make out, but yeah, that's her. So wait, Daredevil, so is the first one actually Luke Cage then? It doesn't look like a big black guy, but I guess it could be. Guess it could be. All right, well, that does it for all the items. Let's look at the pin real quick, which is actually a pretty cool pin of Bullseye. That's Bullseye, for those of you who don't know. He's a, he's a pretty common, popular villain, mainstay villain from the Daredevil series. He hasn't shown up in the show yet, but I'm sure he will. Anyway, last but not least, we have the item card that tells us everything. On the back is a nice thing of Wilson Fisk, a.k.a. Kingpin. And let's read off the items. It is Marvel Knights. That is the official name. Marvel Knights apparently meaning the Defender stuff. Marvel Knights. All right. Investigations are a cinch when you're complete. When you've got an organized office, unfortunately, the Marvel Knights don't seem to believe in defend your tidy desk when the ultimate poem office supplies. <laughs> okay, so we have the exclusive Electra Psy paper clips, the exclusive Daredevil desk tray, the exclusive Defenders file folder set, exclusive Luke Cage coffee mug. The exclusive Alias Investigations Journal and the exclusive Bullseye Enamel Pin. This has been a great exclusive box because I noticed that everything in here was customized only for Loot Crate. You could tell just by the way they all are. That's a pretty cool set of stuff, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay. Oh. Apparently three, apparently three looters luck luckily got, um, got these signed. These folders were signed by the by the person who they portray on there. It doesn't really say who what four guys are on the front of the folders, but I'm pretty sure that one's Punisher and not Luke Cage, which is interesting. But anyway, all right, cool. This was a pretty cool box. I like the box in general. I don't know if I'm really going to use all this stuff. Um, the desk tray, I could find some use for it. The mug is a mug. It'll get used. Um, the pin I always like. The folders, I'm not sure what the fuck I will do with folders, honestly, if I'm going to be serious. 
And then always notebooks. Notebooks are tricky with me as well because I don't usually write in notebooks too often. And then when I do, I usually, it's small notes. And I, I saw like a couple of my smaller notebooks I've used a little bit. But this is a big notebook, so I don't know. Either way, though, these are cool items. I like the box a lot, regardless of the fact that not all of them are practical for my personal use. But maybe I'll find some people I can pawn some of these off on to use. Either way, they're cool items. I really like this box in general. Um, kind of a, a nifty little set of items. So that's going to do it for this month's Marvel Gear and Goods. Remember, this is a bi-monthly crate, so I will be getting the next one in November. Basically, the beginning of December, like this is the beginning of October that you're seeing this video. But yeah, um, pretty good box. I enjoyed it. Big ass box. No wearable, though. That's the surprising thing, I think. No wearable. Usually there's always a wearable, but no wearable. Hmm. That might be my only complaint, then. No wearable at all. Not even an apron. You know, the kind that I can wear when I want to cook. Nah, that's fine. I'm cool with no wearable, but that's probably the only thing that this is lacking. Anyway, I'll see you guys uh, next month for some other lo loot crating unboxing videos. See you later. Peace out.